You may have found this countdown after seeing this video, but what you didn't know is there's more to it. You guys, I'm freaking the f out. It is literally 2.50 a.m. Do you hear that? That is my baby's bubble bath crab in the restroom. It just turned on out of nowhere. And I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack. Checks, come on, buddy. Come on, let's go check. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come with me. Come on. Come on. Because my dog won't even come. Come on, buddy. He's coming. After posting the video, she removes the batteries from the toy and puts it away. A few days after sharing her video, she reached out to me to let me know that something even creepier happened in her home shortly after. Because why is it always the scary shit that happens to me? Watch this. A deer's head that had been mounted and secured to their wall for years comes crashing down in the middle of the night. While her original post may not have been paranormal, it raises a chilling question. By entertaining the idea, did she inadvertently invite something into her home? My stepmom texts, hey, did somebody drop something? And I walked outside and I texted her and I was like, dude, the deer head fell off. And she's like, no way. And I'm like, no, it literally fell off. What? She may have went around the house and threw holy water because... What? What would you do if you were walking in the woods and saw white pages taped to the trees in the distance? My first thought is Slender Man, but the reality of what this man found in the woods this day is far more terrifying. So I come down the hill. Now remember, we're still in the woods. We're still in the woods, right? Do you see the trees? And look, look, we're, we're bordered on all sides by hills. Anyone with any sense of strategy or tactics, let's, uh, you know, being in the center of a bunch of hills is tactically disadvantageous because people can hide on the tops and throw things or shoot at you. Anyway, I'll cut right to the chase because I might die. Look what these are. What the f is going on in here? And this isn't like woods I've never been to. Like I've been here before. These are all different and people. And they're all just... This is Utah, Florida. They're all different. They're all different. Every single one. This one's from Georgia. And look at this. Like, look, look where the f we are. Who the f does something like this? The uh, location is inside the, uh, the dunes. The dunes on East Jericho by where Pathmark used to be. You gotta go in and you gotta just keep going in. And I just mostly followed the main trails and then I kind of just kept making a left. This one's from South Carolina. But like, somebody's standing in this to tape these up. I don't, I don't even know whose house that is down there. Now, anything about this uh, fire pit, somebody clearly went to a lot of trouble to make the fire pit. You gotta understand, if that is somebody's property, and I'm pretty sure that it is, considering you can hear the traffic coming from that direction, considering this is the side of the woods where people's property be at, and considering that's like, that's some Like, this is bad. I do not have a gun. All I got is this. I mean, what am I gonna do against a guy with a gun, you know what I mean? What's this one? Christopher Oregon. It's spider webs. And we got this one. And this obviously these, you can tell, these aren't new. Like, not just that this is 2012, Noblesville, Indiana, right? Look at the tape, look at the water damage. Who 
to be hanging up for a, a while. And look at this, like, just look at this. Who the f is gonna decorate this? What the f? This guy's a grown up. Missing 2009. There's more. There's, there's one there. One there. There's one there. There's one right in front of me. One there. And one there. These are these are just the ones that I've gone in close up. Close up. That I did close ups of. Look over there. You see that? The orange thing on the tree. It's a drop light. Or this. Holy sh just realized what I'm looking at. The video is not doing it justice, but this bundle of sticks, they're lashed together. That's a that's a cage of some kind, or a hut, or a lean-to, or something. And over here in the middle of the fire pit, that's a shovel. Think about it. Somebody that can put this together, like, they could be watching me right now. What's in there? Twenty-one years old, Santa Ana, California, missing 2006. All of these sticks that you can see, they're all lashed together at right angles, as if to make a cage, or a shelter, or a lean-to, or a trap. And this, this part right in the middle, it's a hole. It's a filled in hole, but it's a hole. What's this one? Stacy Peterson, 23 years old, missing from Illinois, 2007. Oh, I heard voices. the feeling that something terribly wrong was happening in the area. Not only did he call the cops, but he eventually returned to gather some evidence. The uploader clarifies that these videos were not made for entertainment, but as a precaution in case he was in danger. So there's a path up there. I'd, I'd like to mention that we're on park property. That means that it's legal for us to be here. Uh, you know, same thing with the knife. Like, I know some people that don't know better, they're like, oh wow, he's got a big knife, it must be illegal, it must be a weapon. That's actually not the case. Number 240, okay. See that? Alright, anyway, you can't see it because it won't focus, but point is, now I got it pinned. 240, not I said before, look at the shit somebody would have had to walk through to put these up. What's really crazy is they use plastic tape. And hopefully, hopefully they left fingerprints. Thank <laughs> you. 
because, uh, you know, I'm not, I wasn't here to stir shit up in the first place. I just, you know, I'm just adventuring. I found what I found and I reported it to the authorities and everything else that happened. Dissatisfied with the explanation of a Halloween party, YouTuber Dateline420 decided to return one last time. On Halloween day, October 31st, 2016, he went back to the woods. But I wanted you to see, I don't know if it's gonna still be here or not, but this was the first thing that I found when I was here on Tuesday by myself. Oh, crap. All right, see this is, all right, this, this was a fire pit. This is, as you obviously saw from the, from the, uh, you know, this is not anyone's yard. This is, this is part of the actual park. And, uh, well, when I was here on Tuesday by myself, over in, well, this, none of this was knocked over. The, 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 the fire was a TP and the benches were all set up. And, but I found these, it's, it's a baseball bat, uh, Adirondack or some, and, uh, wood, it's heavy, it's like legit, and, um, and golf club and uh see these were over at the fire pit i moved them here because this just seems like if it's here it's here for no good and in the interest of personal safety i, I tossed them in the bushes like that because i thought there was a chance they might be you know weapons and that's maybe not what they're for but if it is I figured throwing them like that would at least buy me a little bit of time in case something happened, but you know, that's it's really not going to do anything at all, honestly. But uh, it freaked me the f out because I just can't think of any scenario why, why there would be a golf club and a baseball bat in the woods. Maybe this is just to keep people from going that way, or maybe it's to keep the people on the dirt bikes from coming this way. I honestly don't know. I'm just saying this wasn't here three weeks ago. And considering everything that's happened since then, it seems a little weird. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep my voice down. I wanna do this real quick and get the f out of here. That's the clearing. That's where everybody's so focused on. I'm not going down there for a variety of reasons. Personal protection obviously being the number one reason, but I don't wanna get hurt. I don't wanna get prosecuted. Um, so basically, in the time since I was here last, uh, they've printed out a bunch of no trespassing signs. They, I see, there's your, there's your fire pit, right? I can't even tell at this distance. I can't tell at this distance if the missing people posters have been taken down. I was told that they are. I can't get close enough to double check. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you got the tent and all that other I don't think there are any people down there, but... I really don't know. And like I said, we're not going down there. Uh, so anyway, what they've done, they printed out their own no trespassing signs, homemade. I'm assuming these are all legally binding. I have no way of knowing, so I'm not taking any chances. But you can see. This time, he found no evidence of a gathering. Instead, multiple no trespassing signs were taped to the trees along the property line. It's clear that whoever resides on this property is not keen on unexpected visitors. Last, we we counted. There's about 15 total. They they go across this. This is this is the actual trail. This is a park trail, and then apparently, according to the layout of the signs, this is the property line. So. The original source of the following clip is unknown, although it's only a few seconds. It's quite compelling. As something off camera appears to capture the dog's attention, we soon see what appears to be a ghostly pair of legs running across the yard. 
I've been told in the past that videos like this are merely the result of a person wearing reflective material and that material interacting with the night vision camera. However, this doesn't make much sense to me. If that were the case, I would think the upper half of this, quote, person would appear as an extremely bright object rather than completely transparent. What do you believe? The following footage is quite disturbing. This is a warning. If you're easily scared, this video is not for you. It features a woman shopping at a store somewhere in China in 2016. As she's walking down the aisle, an item falls, and after picking it up, something quite horrifying happens. Almost as if she's being shocked, the woman is stunned and falls to the ground, where she begins convulsing and screaming maniacally. As other customers attempt to help her, the situation continues to escalate as she lets out one final voluminous scream. Both the camera and items in the area appear to have been blasted with some sort of powerful energy. And at the very end of the clip, the item on the shelf falls once again, leading many to believe that this video is indeed footage of a paranormal occurrence. What do you believe? Let me know in the comments below. The following video comes from a woman named Kimberly on Reddit, who says she got up in the middle of the night to get a snack after skipping dinner when she heard something that makes her jump.
Kimberly says when she walked out of her room, she noticed that her dogs stayed put, which is quite unusual because normally they beg when she eats cereal. After hearing the voice, Kimberly calls out, assuming it was her roommate, but gets no response. She decides to finish her milk and head back to bed, with chills creeping up her spine. The next morning, she would ask her roommate if that was her the previous night, to which she would reply, no, I was asleep. A group of coworkers working at a hospital in an unknown location decide to venture into the abandoned ER, or as they call it, the haunted ER. You guys, haunted ER? We're gonna go. Haunted ER, haunted. I'm nervous. You nervous? Why are you nervous? Because it's haunted. <laughs> are you nervous? That was evil. You knew what you did there. It did, it moved, it moved, it moved, yes it did, it did. How do you not see that? Oh, okay! It does, you do get a creepy. Oh god, it's creepy! Do not do anything to freak me out. Do not.
That the nurse's station is hella creepy. Oh my god, there's a shadow over there. I'll die. That's creepy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks creepy, I don't know. Maybe you guys will pick something up. Let's go around the corner. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Let's go around this way. Just let it Ooh. Ooh. That's creepy. Nobody in any of these rooms. They're all empty. Tell you in the back. 3 a.m. Why 3 a.m.? It's so much in yellow. Really? I just don't like. Ooh. A lot of I don't know if that chair that like, kind of just freaked me out. Look at that. <gasps> I heard something up there. <gasps> I heard one. I heard a voice. I'm not kidding you. I heard a voice. <laughs> I heard a voice. I heard a voice. <laughs> it's unknown exactly why they refer to it as the haunted ER. Nor do we know the real reason it's unoccupied. The TikTok user who uploaded it has since taken the page down. So I suppose we'll never know. The following footage comes to us from a woman named Thea Taylor on Facebook. And the man speaking in the video is her husband. They awoke one night to see something strange on their home security camera footage. This is what they caught. 7-2 of 2020. We apparently caught an apparition going to the neighbor's house, going left to right by the trash cans. And in the middle of the driveway, this figure or apparition dissipates. Apartment. There it is. Walking. No legs. And she disappears. If you see, nobody is going into this apartment right now. And a vehicle drives by. Nobody. Nobody's there. The neighbor is left. There's nobody nowhere to be found anywhere. Very odd. Although the footage is rough, you can almost make out what looks like somebody walking in the distance across the driveway before seemingly disappearing entirely. The following clips come from YouTube channel Daily Bumps, a family channel that has nothing to do with the paranormal. Sometime in 2020, they had noticed that somebody had been leaving the back door open, allowing their chickens and goats to enter the home. Thinking it was one of their kids, they checked the security cameras and were shocked when they saw this. Home and the chickens are outside and literally the door opens just enough to let the chickens in and then it closes. I think that there is something- As if this wasn't enough, on the morning of June 30th, 2020, a loud crash was heard in their home. As they walked out into the hallway, they noticed that every single one of their wall canvases are resting on the hallway floor, just beneath the spots where they were hanging. When they checked the security cameras, they saw this. At 6.15 in the morning this happened. I thought you like walked us up. <laughs> A single thump causes every single picture to fall at the same time. In the following video, user Dino Nuggets invites two skeptics along on one of his investigations. Before they begin, they clear the area and ensure that they are the only ones in the building. They set up the Ouija board and the following 
is captured. Unless all of the individuals in this video are in on it, this may very well be a genuine paranormal occurrence. What do you believe? Let me know in the comments below. Are you ready? Yeah. Um. Yo, did you just hear that? Can you talk to us with the with the Ouija board? I'm Holy f that wasn't the dog. Can you make another noise? There's some things in here. Okay, that's not funny. Do you see how he's freaking out? That is not funny. Yeah. Are you okay, bro? What's that? It will move. Give us a sign if you're here to hurt somebody. Is that the water? Bro! Do you hear that? That's the water. Do you hear that? Okay. I know we did. Oh my god, bro. The fing door just opened behind you. Oh my god. Alright, I'll go first and you guys come in here. Holy f stop. I'm not going in there. The dog's out. I mean this is what we're here for, Holy right? No, nope, I'm not oh, going man, down there. No. Nope, nope. <laughs> Will y'all follow me? I'm not gonna follow me. Freaked out. Alright. 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 Oh, oh, oh. You guys are crazy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 you oh. we're done we're done, You're done. Yeah. although the source is unknown the information that i could find on this next clip says that it comes from somewhere in the forests of oregon a group of teenagers is walking by a wooded area late at night when something begins taunting them from the woods What sounds like laughter can be heard coming from deep within the forested area. While there's always potential for things like this to be explained away as simply foxes or coyotes, one can't help but be spooked at the sound's similarity to laughter. The following video has to be one of the very first ghost videos uploaded to YouTube in the early 2000s. It remains on the channel and 4 zm one to this day, and what it shows is oddly disturbing.
There's no question for most of these videos that they are hoaxed. But regardless, this video still gives me the chills. A TikTok user named Rihanna was visiting a carnival with her son when she begins to record him on one of the rides. As she sees him circling around, she notices something is not right. So she begins to record. At the beginning of the clip, another boy can be seen sitting next to her son. Yet when the ride circles back around, the boy is no longer there. Rihanna uploaded the video in 2022 with a caption that reads, Who is sitting next to Moise? She's since turned the comments off on her video. But I want to know, what do you believe is the explanation for this one? Let me know in the comments below. It actually has a pretty cool night vision that I just uh, found today. If you guys already know it has night vision, then I'm going to show the people who don't know. So right now it's completely dark in this house right now. All you can basically see is my Xbox One controller. I'm going to switch on the night vision for you guys. As you can see, it's just it lights up the whole room. It's actually a pretty cool feature. Um, I, they, I don't know if they have an app for this or whatnot, but uh, they also have this uh, version of the camera. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's either an infrared or something like that. And then uh, back to the dark. As you can see, all you can see is my Xbox controller. for the Xbox Connect that I haven't really heard of until now. Maybe they have an app for it or something. If you're unfamiliar, the Xbox Connect was an attachment for the Xbox 360. It allowed the user to interface with the game using their body motion. And the following video, an Xbox user is showing off a night vision feature they discovered on the Connect when something strange is caught in the background. Um, I, they, I don't know if they have an app for this or whatnot, but uh, and then I Thanks for watching. The following clip is one of many from an account called King Crimson. The account features a variety of videos claiming they've been experiencing paranormal activity in their home. The events happen to be specifically centered around the young child featured in the videos. It's assumed that it's the user's son. on its own, and in an attempt to prove that there was no string attached, the user uploaded another video. Although his last video was eight years ago, King Crimson has received plenty of criticism for these clips over the years, especially this one, which appears to show strange noises being caught on camera as he's alone with his child.
The original source for this clip is unknown, but something odd happens, and it happens fast. Pay close attention, or you'll miss it. woman is watching TV, home alone with her dog, when something tugs at her hair. Although the source is unknown, the woman's confusion appears to be genuine. I suppose, however, we'll never know. On March 11th, 2011, an undersea earthquake caused a massive tsunami over East Japan. With over 19,000 deaths, and nearly 3,000 people missing, a group of onlookers record as their home city is demolished by the oncoming waves. And during this recording, something really odd happens. An almost cartoonish looking ghostly figure can be seen emerging from the water and dissipating upward. Many believe that this could be actual video evidence of a soul of one of the lost people rising up and out of the water. What do you believe? Let me know in the comments below. The following clip was uploaded by a Reddit user named Mike, claimed to have heard a voice calling out his name. Let me know if you hear it. Mike says that he thought it was one of his kids walking down the stairs, but when he looked and saw nobody there, he took off running. He also says that his home was built in the 1850s and happened to be owned by a crew member who died in the Halifax explosion. He believes that this spirit resides in his home. Due to the animal's reaction or lack thereof, it's my guess that whatever soul is lingering in Mike's home is not malevolent. And now for the highlight of this video, our final clip comes to us from a woman named Angelica, who one day experienced something quite odd in her home. I've had the pleasure of interviewing Angelica and she's agreed to tell me the details of her story. And little did she know, what she captured on this day would potentially explain the variety of experiences both her and her family endured in this house. Before I share with you Angelica's clip, a little backstory is required. If you're home alone, I'm gonna need you to turn off the lights. Angelica's story begins in early 2020 upon purchasing a new house with her husband and children. I love this house so much. Like, we toured it twice. Like, you know, when we got there, I was like, this is our house. Then we toured it and I was like, this is our house. We had like that movie moment where we looked at each other. I was like, no, this is our house. Upon moving into this house, Angelica and her family almost immediately began noticing something wasn't right. I, yeah, I started the new job when I moved there. So like everything seemed perfect. Um, I started the new job when I got there and like we were on Zoom together doing like a training and a couple of them were like, I had to go get up to go. It was either answer the door or do something like I went downstairs and they said they heard scratching on the walls or something like they heard a scratching noise coming from like, like or something. So in my brain, I'm like, well, it's windy outside, guys. It could be like the trees, you know, but there weren't trees touching our house that could do that. And I kind of like knew that. 
it, I worked in that room every day uh, for my office job. So I was like, you know, kind of in there and people who had slept in there, like my mother-in-law, um, my mom, you know, when she was alive, she was like, I just got like the weirdest feeling in there. She's like, maybe it's just like the, there, there's no, nothing on the walls yet, or I don't know. She's like, I just don't feel like, both of them had stated that they felt uneasy, but I just wrote it off like, whatever, you guys are just hating because we got a new house and blah, 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 like, you know. <laughs> but my mind wasn't, it, I was trying to basically deconvince myself that yeah. those things that I was experiencing were not paranormal. I, in that room specifically, there was a closet door that would always open. And it was just one of those sliding closet doors. I'm like, it doesn't just pop open like that. Like that's not normal for it to just come off track and completely come off like that. There were times where we had like a Jesus calling book that was in that room and we heard a huge boom upstairs. Like we thought one of the kids were in there. I run up the stairs and there's the Jesus calling book on the floor. It wasn't too long before Angelica began to notice the correlation between the odd experiences and the room at the top of the stairs. Uh, it was very strange. Like we had fights there that we haven't had since the type of fights and the degree yeah. are not anywhere near. I just felt like the emotions were very intense. And I, again, like I told myself, like I'm just overthinking this and I would go on Reddit all the time, you know, like, why do I feel things so and like blah, blah, blah because I was just trying to like work through it. At that time, we were pretty much separating um, and getting ready. That's part of why we were selling home. Um, and it was very, very difficult. Things that we experienced there were just very strange. Thing that we heard was like three big bangs. Like it was like, and we heard it thinking it was the neighbors next door. And I remember going upstairs and like, we could see the windows shaking like it rattling, it rattled the side of the house. Sean ran out to the back of the house, couldn't see anything, couldn't hear anything. One morning, Angelica awoke to see something that she could only describe as a scene straight out of a horror movie. Uh, so uh, the flies, what happened there? So my son was in Washington with my mom at the time, kind of like an extended stay. He was there for like three months while we were kind of like doing stuff with the house and whatever, you know, it was for the summer. And this was around, I want to say like May, June, like end of May, beginning of June. Uh, I was sleeping in the room with my daughter and my fiance had already gone off to work. I woke up around, I want to say six or seven and I come out of the room and then I see like a shadow above my head when I move a little feels like 20 of these freaking flies start moving i literally like shh, uh, i've never froze so bad like i mean like i literally was like oh my god like i i backed slowly back into the room grabbed my phone called sean freaking out like we had to get all the windows open push the screens out so take the screens out and close the kids doors it took well into the evening to get rid of all of them but i would say by the next day pretty much all of them were gone uh is this normal? Like, could there have been something that died in the walls, you know? But to an extent, those things are normal. Not to that degree. Not to that degree. I've never in my life seen anything like that. Like, so. While all of this could easily be a coincidence, the following events are perhaps the most disturbing, as Angelica describes the activity leading up to her video. So you have children, correct? Yeah, I have two. Um, did they, have they had any odd experiences that you recall? <laughs> My daughter, I remember her awake one night. Like, I don't know why I woke up, but I woke up and she was like in her closet, kind of like just, she was three. So, I mean, it was very strange to see her just kind of like in the closet, standing at the wall, like in the corner. I was like really confused by that and thought maybe she, I took her to the doctor, you know, and talked to them about it. And they're like, she seems fine. It was very strange. We both just had like a weird feeling there. I remember another time we were sitting on the couch together watching TV and by the stairs, we both looked over at the same time because we thought we saw a head pop out. Like both of our, he our heads turned at the same time to look up the stairs and there was nothing there. And we both just kind of looked at each other and shrugged it off and just thought. And little did she know that in the coming months, all of these occurrences would suddenly make sense and she would no longer be able to deny the possibility of these events being something 
supernatural. The mystery would begin to unfold on this day in January of 2022, as Angelica and her husband were doing minor renovations on their home in preparation to move out. She suddenly heard her husband screaming her name from the top of the stairs. Come look at this, like right now. I'm thinking in my brain, I'm thinking termites, rat poop in the walls, something crazy like- She immediately turns her camera on and begins to record. But what she would see next, she would never expect. Shins for this house. <gasps> You're joking. Oh, you think I'm gonna cut up a Ouija board? You're out of your Are mind. you serious? Do you not touch that thing, bad juju. Get it the jealous stop. because I was like, maybe it's not like as pertinent, but I, I we ended up burning them um, oh, because really? yeah, I, I just thought that was the best way to destroy it. And now did I know if that was the right way to destroy it? No, but instinctively I was like, well, you know, fire destroys things. It, we put all, we put everything in there, the nails, all of it. Like there were just these really cro like crooked nails as we just threw them in there. As far as I know, that's all the pieces that we had, so. Could Angelica's story be actual authentic evidence of paranormal activity, or is it merely a coincidence? As always, I'll leave it for you to decide. Until next time, what do you believe? Let me know in the comments below.